Hey folks, Scott Kelby here from Kelby One. Just want to give you a reminder, like I said in the post, this is for intermediate level users. I'm not going to be explaining everything. I'm just going to kind of fix the photo and I will let you know what I'm doing as I go it, but I'm not going to explain it from a beginner's point of view. So you kind of have to know your way around Lightroom. But uh, here we go. We're going to start off with the things that I would do to this mess of a photo. Now, I got to tell you, this is not a great photo. So when we're done, it's still not going to be a great image. But I think we can do better than we have here. Uh, let's go ahead and start off by going to the camera calibration panel. Uh, instead of the very flat looking Adobe standard calibration, uh, col I'm, excuse me, color profile, I'm going to add vivid, right? So that'll kind of punch up the color a little bit, add some more contrast, etc. Let's start there. Let's go to lens corrections then and let's enable the lens profile for this camera. You can see that kind of fixed the bowing there. And then uh, let's go over to the next one down, transform. And let's just hit auto to kind of straighten the lens problems out. And then we can start working on the photo. All right, now this is going to sound crazy, but I'm going to go ahead and hit auto. They've actually done a pretty good job now using AI and machine learning to have the auto button actually look okay. <laughs> Now, here's what I have noticed about the auto button, which is, that's quite a bit better, is that it often bumps the shadows too much. So I'm going to pull those back and it bumps the contrast down too much. And I'm going to pull a little of that back. So that's that's a little bit better there. All right. Uh, there's a couple of other things. There's all kinds of stuff going on. You can see a little bit of chromatic aberration up here and over there on the chimney. So let's head back to lens corrections and just turn on the remove chromatic aberration and maybe we can pull the purples up a little bit and get rid of some of those lines in there and stuff maybe move that over a little to the left get rid of some of that stuff maybe bring up the greens okay so that's that stuff let's go over to the basic panel um, I'm going to pull the, the contrast and clarity up quite a bit that's nice and punchy uh, I'm not too crazy about the sky and I'm not too crazy about this washed out area of brick right here. So let's work on the sky first. We're going to go to the HSL panel where I'm going to go to the luminance and to get some blue in the sky, I'm going to pull the blue luminance channel down to the left and we'll get it kind of blue. That's a fakey looking blue if you ask me. But uh, so let's go here, go to saturation. I'm going to grab the targeted adjustment tool right there. We're going to grab that thing and just pull the saturation down to that blue a bit because that's looking a little crazy. All right, that's better. All right, how about the um, adjustment brush? Let's grab that. I'm going to lower the exposure a little bit and see this area. It's kind of washed out there. Let's just paint over that area of brick. I don't like the way that's just kind of standing out there. And maybe exposure is not the right thing. Maybe it is highlights and maybe add some contrast in there get it a little closer that's that's not perfect it's not awesome let's just spread it around a little bit it won't be so bad <laughs> run a doubt make other things look bad around it and no one will know it's kind of going maybe around in here all right that that whole area is just too dark so let's kind of pull all that back i got a little carried away all right uh let's see what else we can do let's go ahead and We'll add some little dashes of, of light. So I'm going to go hit new over here. Let's go to the exposure and crank it up by maybe a stop-ish. Let's use a big brush and we're going to click in a few places just where like a highlight might land and just give that. This is a pretty common thing that people do to spice up images like this is add little highlights that don't really aren't really there just to kind of make it look like what? Um, if you have the auto mask on like I do, let's just turn that off. Auto mask makes it look funky, so I'm going to redo that. I just went and turned auto mask off. So let's turn that That's, uh, and click a few more places here with a very large brush. Nice, soft brush. And we'll click on some of these spots to give these little highlight areas that aren't really there in real life. And those are a little bit too bright. We're going to bring them down just a bit. There we go. And probably last but not least, let's get rid of this junk. Now, I really can't get rid of these awful, here or what I'm talking about over here is these awful leaves up in the top right corner uh, inside a Lightroom. Let's jump over to Photoshop. We'll press Command E on Mac, Control E on Windows, and we'll use a very excellent feature over there called Content Aware, uh, Content Aware Fill. Let's go and make a selection around the awful looking uh, tree sticking in over here on the side. And then we'll go to fill 
we'll hit content aware and yeah nice job there thank you for putting part of the house in there let's try that again that's really really bad and there's a missed a spot there let's try it again sometimes if you try it second time it'll do better nope it's just going to be crud so here what i'm going to do i'm going to deselect and we're going to grab that area right here and try content aware fill again that's better so that's not so bad and there's a little spot it missed and it's gone how about this one over here let's see if we can get rid of that fairly easy because that's a little distracting and that's pretty good lastly let's just sharpen it up go to unsharp mask while we're here and that's a lot of sharpening <laughs> let's save and close to send it back over to lightroom let's head over to lightroom and let's see from where we started so the original would be here let's reset the original that's the original image where we started and there's our finished image you can see the lens corrections and all that stuff i still think it might be a tad too vibrant so i'm going to go to the basic panel and let's just on this copy let's lower the vibrance a little bit it might be too big and punchy and there we go and there's our finished image just like i said at the very beginning when we're done it's just not that great an image but <laughs> it gives you some insights on how i would go ahead and try to fix something like that hey thank you so much for watching hey if you're not a kelby one member you ought to consider being one uh we are the most comprehensive source anywhere on lightroom and photoshop training over 51 full-length classes in our kelby one pro plan and over 200 Photoshop classes on every possible topic you can imagine. Head on over to Kelby One and start learning today. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll catch you next time.